Hello guys, welcome back to Yolan App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use Google Docs. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So Google Docs is a great way for you to create documents. So if you're looking for a free way to create your documents, well, Google Docs is the way thing. So it's actually quite similar with Word. So I'll be showing you how to access it. So if you, you're not sure how to access Google Docs, so in any applications or any websites for Google, so typically there's going to be a dotted icon next to your profile. So when you click on it, you will see Google Apps, all of the apps that we have right now. So when you scroll down a bit, you'll be able to see Docs there. So if you click on it, you'll be able to access the docs.google.com website. Now in this case, it's going to use your already existing account or the account that you're currently locked in. Now, same thing if we go to uh, maybe I want to go to Drive. So I, I just, I just want to show you how, how it actually works. So at Drive, you also have the option to create documents. So in this case, at the top left, you have the new button here. You could go, you could go and choose Google Docs here. And from there, you could go ahead and create one basically from Drive. So since all of the Google applications or the uh, websites here are interconnected. There are multiple ways for you to access different documents, maybe sheets, slides, forms, and whatnot. So it's a really great thing if you're going to use these Google uh, services. So in this case, let's go back to Google Docs. Now from here, we need to create our document. So if you click on black do blank document here, you'll be able to create a blank document. But a great thing about Google Docs here is you could choose from different templates. So in this case, they have resume, the letter here, the recipe, we also have project proposals and onboarding notes and a lot more. So if you're in a rush and you just want to create your uh, presentation really quickly, well, Google Docs can help you. Now, in this case, I'm going to choose one of the formats that we have. So let's say we want to use this letter here, so just to give you an idea on how it actually works. So in this case, uh, when we first see a Google Docs here, we have different things that we could do. So at the top left, you should see File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools, Extensions, and Help. Now in this case, this actually works similarly to with anything that you see on Word. So if you use Word before, which is I highly believe that you use Word before, it's pretty, pretty similar. I'm going to tell you it's going to be pretty similar. Now we have the text option here where in you'll be able to uh, make it bold, ita italic, underline, strike to superscript or subscript. We also have the option to change sizes and capital capitalizations. Now in here we also have tools here where in you'll be able to do the following, which is spelling and grammar, word count, review, suggested edits, compare documents, and a lot more. But typically with the more or the basic things or basic tools or um, things that we could do here, it's going to be readily available at the top section here. So let's go ahead and focus on what we already have here. But if you want the advanced uh, method of getting getting the uh, tools or things that you could do, you could go ahead and just view all of the available things here. Now in this case, at the top left, you could also change the name of your document. So maybe we want to say we want to say this a letter document. And from here, once you enter on any space here, it's going to automatically save that. And all the changes here will be automatically saved as well. Now, in this case, when we click on menu here, we have the option for page setup. Now, for page setup, you'll be able to change how your page is set up. So currently, this is actually applying to whole document. And in here, we have the page or page list. So if you choose page list here, it's going to say that there's no pages on your document. But I want to retain the pages here. Now, we also have the option to choose the orientation, maybe portrait or landscape. The margins, so these uh, this are the margins here, the spaces between the document or the text itself, and we have the paper size. So currently, I set this up to letter, so let's go ahead and retain that, and we also have the option to change the page color. And for example, you want to change this to blue, just click on OK. As you can see, blue is now the background color of this document. But let's go back and change this back to the original color, which is white. Now, from here, just click on OK, and there are other things that we could do as well. So drop down, when you click on this one, you'll be able to basically add a new drop down. In this case, I want to say uh, there's going to be a test drop down and you have options here. So let's go ahead and save this one just to give you an example. 
And as you can see, we'll be able to basically add options for the uh, drop down that we have right now. So if you want to reposition this, you go ahead. As you can see, I was able to move it around. Now in this case, you could choose option one, option two, option three, or whatever. If you want to remove this, just press on the uh, about section here before or after the button there. Just click on the backspace and you'll be able to remove that. Now we also have the option here for meeting notes. So if you want to add meeting notes here, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now we have the redo and undo buttons here. So the same thing, you have the control Z uh, shortcut to do these actions. We have the print. So in this case, we'll be able to print this document directly from Google Docs. Now we have the spelling and grammar here. Like for example, I'm going to say I'm, I'm not writing this. So in this case, I'm going to purposely remove or change the three things here that is not correct. And we could go ahead and highlight them and choose or use the spelling grammar here. As you can see, it's going to give me suggestions. Just click on accept. And from here, it's going to give me suggestions again. Accept it again. As you can see, it is now correct. So if you're not in the stronger sides of spelling or grammars, it's this going to be really helpful for you. Now we have the zoom in on the document and the paint format if you want to change that. We also have the uh, text format here. For example, you want to make this into a different, like for example, title. It is going to be a title format. Now here we have the font. If you want to change that, for example, we want to make this impact, you could go ahead and use that. Now we have the uh, increase font size here if you want to do that and bold, italize, underline, change the color if you want to as well. And in here we have the link option. So if you want to add a link, like for example, let's go and highlight this one, add a link. And from here, you could go ahead and start adding links. So for example, if you want to link this to a wiki, you could go ahead and do that. Or if you want to link this to a document that is already existing in your account, as you can see, I have my Excel or sorry, the Google Sheets I have right now. So I could go ahead and choose them. Now, in this case, I also have the option to add comments, insert images, and we also have the, uh, the formatting things that we could do here, like alignment, the line and paragraph uh, pacing here, or spacing. For example, we want to change the spacing here to maybe double the sizes. As you can see, it's going to be changed. Also have the checklist if you want to use that. And we also have the bulleted list. If you want to add bullets, go ahead and choose, highlight those, select this one and the numbered list as well, and the decrease indent or the indent option as well. But yeah, so this one using a Google Sheets or sorry, the Google Docs is actually pretty simple. It's quite similar to Google uh, with Word. So you'll be able to immediately adapt to this one. But yeah, so those are the basics for Google Docs and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Elon App. Thank you for watching.